Hey guys, this is Vikas back with a new tutorial on how to make a vinegar battery. This is based on a simple fact that when two different metal electrodes are immersed into an acid, it creates a flow of electron. So we'll be using two different metals and dip it into vinegar which is 4% acetic acid. Use the DC type of voltage to glow a LED bulb. What you'll need for this experiment are vinegar, a multimeter, digital multimeter, record the voltage we'll need this for bench testing it is optional by the way galvanized nail an LED bulb preferably a red one because it requires a less voltage than the white ones a small container a marker a few jumper cables this is I have prepared on my own to secure the connection and adhesive tape and a refrigerator ice tray an earthing wire as well this will give you if you peel this off it will give you a copper wire which can be used as a, a metal electrode so first we'll be bench testing it to see how much the voltage is so for that the first step is to fill the container with 3 fourths of vinegar and then attach an adhesive tape as shown in the, in the video so we'll make two holes with a screw and here zinc acts as a as an electrode it is two different metals ok so we have immersed a zinc into the acetic acid the next step is to bend the copper wire as shown this will prevent falling it inside and we'll just dip it into the vinegar acid just connect the jumper cables to the terminals let's check out the voltage so we'll turn it on and connect the terminals with the multimeter input so I have connected randomly and let's see what the voltage is it's a 0 0.89 and notice that there is a minus sign which indicates that we have connected the leads to the opposite, to the opposite side so we'll just revert the leads and see what happens so it's giving plus 0.99 volts that is approximately 1 volt so I guess 4 such compartments would be necessary to make an LED glow so let's mark it the positive terminal with positive and negative with negative here zinc nail is the negative terminal and copper is the positive terminal we'll just write it down so that we don't forget it 1 volt output from 1 cell so we'll require 4 volts from 4 cells so the next step is to wind the copper wire to the zinc nail like this do this with 4 or 5 different nails like this now pour vinegar in 4 cells of ice tray like this and we'll just mark it as cell 1 2 3 and 4 so th these are the positive, positive negative terminals for our, our reference dip the zinc and copper wire zinc nail is the negative and copper is the positive so we'll just dip it down the negative that is zinc goes into the first cell and the positive part of it goes into the second cell right so we know that electrons flow from negative to positive so it will flow from cell 1 to 2 then we will put the negative into the second cell and connect it with the third cell with the positive 
okay so the current has been added over here since this is a connection in series the electrons flow from second to third and uh, now we'll dip the nail in the negative third cell and which which will give the flow of electrons from third cell to fourth cell okay and then the output let's check out the output it's 2.94 96 approximately 3 volts and i think that would be enough for us to power one single led bulb before we proceed you got to know something about the led bulb uh, this this work on dc type of voltage and there is a positive and negative terminal and there are two legs one is shorter than the other the shorter terminal is actually your negative terminal and the longer terminal is your positive terminal we will just put it inside the vinegar battery and see what happens note that the positive terminal into the first cell and the negative terminal should go into the fourth cell let's see what happens okay it's glowing you can see that and we'll just you see just to be more clear we'll, we'll switch off the lights and you can see it is glowing we'll turn it on we'll again switch off and see okay so it's glowing and we have done our project successfully thank you and do subscribe